To your health now, it's a health condition a lot of folks have been talking about, specifically this morning. Talk show host Wendy Williams has revealed she's battling aphasia. It is a language disorder that can impact people who've had a brain injury or stroke. Health reporter Haley Hernandez joins us now with what we need to know about this condition. Haley. Yeah, guys, so you know Wendy Williams has actually been pretty public about health issues in the past, most recently in 2018 with Graves' disease. Aphasia is the same condition made well known by Bruce Willis. And now local aphasia experts experts want people to understand that this is not the same as losing your memory. So more people should understand the signs and symptoms. Speech pathologist Ethan Klein often works with aphasia patients and compares the condition to a puzzle. Throughout your life, you put your puzzle together and it's every word that you know, it's called your lexicon. And what aphasia is, is someone, it's like someone comes up and grabs your completed puzzle and just throws it up against the wall. Imagine these are all the words you know, but now they're not in nice, pretty categories. They're all over the place. And so what you're doing is looking for the word that you're trying to find, and you have to sift through all of these words. Here he shows me the two areas of the brain that, when damaged, cause aphasia. It's really more common to see aphasia with brain injury. So traumatic brain injury, stroke, uh, any type of tumor that's um, that you know, someone hasn't discovered yet. It could just be impacting the language that way. That's what happened to Tom Pickett. He lost language after his stroke. Tom was a regular patient at the Houston Aphasia Recovery Center when I visited in 2022. Here they sing, which can often come easier than speaking, and they work on connecting words to objects, basically relearning their whole vocabulary. It's frustrating, but it's the only way to recover. It's a problem with my uh, numbers, you know, or the letters, I go, five, five, okay, five. They still know what they want to say. It's just hard to get the words from here out their mouth. So the public giving someone, if they meet someone with aphasia, giving them extra time to speak, still treating them like an intelligent adult. Um, and I think that they'd really appreciate it. Yeah, and so then I just spoke with Hark, and they said that they're actually so appreciative that celebrities are sharing their diagnosis because they said as a result, more people who were maybe confused or frustrated with those symptoms are now getting a good diagnosis. Yeah, I think a lot of us heard dementia somewhere in there and got kind of confused about what exactly we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's confusing because she has the frontotemporal dementia, I, you know, like the same thing that Bruce Willis has, right, basically, right. but it's not the same as losing your memory. Sort of it's just like what we think of as yeah, yeah, it's right. just like a category of right. it. Yeah. Still right. so, a lot to understand. Yeah, yeah. and so, so like they're asking, you know, just patients with these patients because they they still are very well aware of what's happening. They just don't have the language to communicate. Yeah. So and it takes them a little bit longer they, to find the words. Yeah, it, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So.